Hi, this is Melanie of Part Days of Reviews, and I'm joined with Kathy of Cinemata Podcast. And okay. we're continuing our series of exploring classic <laughs> <laughs> Indian films. Yeah. And this week is Halloween. So we she had already seen some of the more obvious choices for horror, like Tombad and so forth. Yeah. So, but then I said, Have you have you ever heard of Dar? Which have means not. fear. <laughs> I had not. <laughs> and and Kathy is always game for a Shahrukh Khan classic movie. <laughs> when you said scary with SRK, I'm like, yes, please. Let's watch that one. She goes, we'll do the other ones. No, no, we're doing the SRK scary one. <laughs> that's what I want. That's what I need right now. Yeah. So, yeah, that's funny because it's like not necessarily a comfort movie for me, but Kathy was like, yeah, give me horror, give me thriller, yeah. give me, yeah, that's it's comforting. What I, need. <laughs> I need the horror to I'm calm like, me I, down. I, I'm like, Sherrook is a crazy stalker with a lot of, yeah, that's exactly what I need. I know. Okay. I like, he was a stalker. I'm like, oh, I'm intrigued. <laughs> this I want to see. <laughs> okay. So, oh. this film is legendary, iconic, the soundtrack. Yeah, I think you. So I think you were texting me that you were kind of surprised about how many songs. Yeah, but we're talking 1993 Bollywood, so That's there was true. an expectation that there would be a certain number of songs in the soundtrack. <laughs> I mean, it seems just like a the movie there is. wouldn't be songs in. You know, it's like this kind of thriller, and you just but don't I expect kind of, songs. <laughs> but I kind of like how some of the songs subvert, especially the opening yeah. song. We see. Um, you know, we have Dewey Chawa, like is she's yeah. she's in college, I guess, in Shimla, yeah. like in the mountains. It's almost like sound of music, like right? You like yeah. you expect her to do the twirl. No, no, totally. <laughs> I love that too. It really did look like she's I like this is how women act. They run around and go, oh, when they're by themselves, <laughs> they spin around and they're like, Yeah, that's how we act when you guys aren't watching. <laughs> But anyway, it opens with this big love song, and she's reading yeah. this love letter. She mm -hmm. assumes is from her Navy, you know, boyfriend Sunil. But we come to learn, which I mean, it's like things turn from all innocent, then the rain starts, then she's, you know, in this wet dress, yeah. and she's starting to take it off her shoulders, and the camera become is like through, through the slats of this little yeah. shack. Like, oh, so we cute. are the we are the perspective of her stalker <laughs> who is spying on her, and so it's like it turns from innocent to creepy real fast. Right? And I have to say, it. looking at it with you know modern eyes, seeing her get a little bit wet, go into a shack and start undressing, I'm like, uh, no, no, I, I don't <laughs> never, care where you are in the world. Never wild. take your clothes off in public. I don't care how wet you get. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and he just happened to be there lurking but i think i think the whole setup of this if you think because you've now seen a number of indian films yeah and what we would consider if it was happening to us in real life to be yeah. stalker behavior mm -hmm. is so often like well but it's the hero so obviously it's yeah. all good yeah he's the hero like it doesn't matter if he's stalking this girl or constantly looking at her or sending right. her anonymous notes or whatever like everything is always all good yep. and this movie completely flips that Did. right yeah and also it's showing um here's a girl who's she just has those you know spidey senses like it, yeah. this is off like she's getting yeah. these phone calls and the how many people don't believe her initially always. right uh, she's yeah. like something creepy is happening. And oh, you're just like, overreacting. Oh, you're just over. Oh, he's just calling yeah. you. It's harmless. Well, it's just phone calls. It. And that you isn't know? necessarily. That's not unusual even now. I think it's there's true. sort of a, a. Like sometimes I'll be walking the dogs at night, like with my husband, and I'll see somebody down the street. And I'm like, I'm gonna turn here. He goes, well, Why? I'm like. I just, I just know to turn here and just trust me on this little intuition I have. It served right. to me well, but they don't, a lot of men don't understand that sort of yeah. spidey senses thing. You know, they, yeah. they, they don't have to worry about walking around. They don't have right. to worry about people calling and saying creepy things. Cause you know, we'll confront right. them. No yeah. problem. But for I us, mean, it's I, like, Ooh. To an NPR story that's national public radio for people in India. Anyway, I was listening to a story mm -hmm. this morning. It was more about, 
cat people, women who suffer from people cat calling them, you know, like, mm. you know, yeah. just, Hey, good looking. Aren't you yeah. going to smile for me? You know, yeah. but, but basically this woman had created an art exhibit and now a podcast and basically kind of flipping that and making men experience it, making men oh. put on head headphones and walk and hear men, you know, saying That's things to them. And so she said like this art exhibit, like men would come out crying. Like they just never really, it's like they yeah. never, they never had to think about it. That's right. Right. Women constantly right. have to be, have an extra awareness. Can't just walk around the world, no. you know, blissfully like, yeah, I don't yeah. care what's going on around me. Like you always yeah. have to have this awareness. Yeah. Where's danger coming from? Exactly. Right? Yeah. And it's this background noise you've just gotten accustomed to just having to live on a little bit of defensive wherever you go or whatever you do. And you're never, it's never just the dark alley. It's anywhere. So you're it's just anywhere. always clocking erratic behavior, always checking like, mm, uh, there's too many. Uh, I'm gonna go well, like you're just always first, thinking that. Or, or also something that could seem like an innocent con comment mm -hmm. could on a dime turn into a dangerous yes. situation. Yep. Um, I mean, one of the scary stories in this NBR was like this woman saying, my mother experienced being in a drive through just picking up dinner for our family. And there was a car with a bunch of guys and she told them to be mm. quiet because they were yelling at her. Oh, and then no. they came and bashed her windows with oh. baseball bats. So, yep. you know, that's the thing. It's like you always, you know, I, I noticed there's parts in this movie where she's trying to humor Sharuk because that's yeah. what we all do. You want to de-escalate. De-escalate. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's exactly the right word because you're, you're like, well, why doesn't she just attack or whatever? Because, yeah. We've learned women have to constantly de-escalate because we never know something that seems like an innocuous situation could at a moment's notice yeah. just flip and then we're in danger. Exactly. So anyway, so I think Yash Chopra is the director of this film. This is classic film. It went through. Okay. The crazy thing to me is this was released Christmas weekend. <laughs> <I'm> wow. Like, <laughs> What else do you want to go see Christmas holiday weekend? Oh, right? well, it looks like it's it's going to be a, a Shabra Khan <laughs> romantic, you know, comedy. This is going to be awesome, and okay. it starts that way with little hints of weirdness. But you're like, ah, but there's so much music and everything's so beautiful and everyone's so happy. It'll be fine. Okay, and I love how they the just thing. sprinkle it in just at first, just barely in there. But you're like. Mm. Okay, but that's the thing. Your impression of Shah Rukh Khan is that he is this romantic hero. At this point in time, he was not necessarily. Oh. This is two years before DDLJ. This is two oh, years yeah. before he really was cemented as that romantic hero that, that he's only now breaking free and doing action movies. <laughs> At the time that this movie came out, he wanted to be doing action movies. Oh, and they funny. went through a long list of people that were attached to it. this <laughs> that were attached to this film because Yash Chopra wrote it thinking of Sri Devi, but she wanted him to flip it that the girl was the stalker. And he's like, No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna flip it. <laughs> and <laughs> and Rahul, so Shah Rukh Khan's role went through several people as well. Okay. Sanjay Dutt was the original. Idea. He, he would be too obviously creepy, you know. That's exactly what I think. That's exactly what when I read that, I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but the why it worked is because Sir Albert Khan is such a puppy dog. He's so cute. He looks like he would not be threatening, and that's what yeah. makes it ten times more powerful. I think. Yes, and then so then Amir Khan was attached, oh. and Amir just didn't like how much like there's that final scene where. Sunny Dio beats the crap out of Sharuk on the on the boat, like just yeah. punches him. Like he didn't like that scene. <laughs> you know, and and Rat Yash Chopper's like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna change that. Wow. So, I can't believe he wouldn't like it because he clearly his character deserves it. <laughs> I mean, come so, on. Anyway, I mean, the point is that it went through all of these people. Interesting. So Sharuk was not definitely not the first person that they were thinking of okay. Wow. And so it came down, but actually, like now, as you say, now. You cannot really picture anyone else because it has that dichotomy of you're just constant, especially when you watch it now. Yeah. Those romantic films that yeah. he's done, and you're seeing how he's on the knife edge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, 
It's, he's adding a little creepy factor to what we're so used to seeing yeah. of him. I love you. You know, yes. like, when, you know and you. puppy dog eyes and the looking at her with the, so the cool. hearts, little hearts in his eyes and everything. Like you're so used to that. But yeah, an edge. It's got that edge on it. Yeah. Oh, I'm that's so funny. It. <laughs> it's so true. And he does really work it too because oh, yeah. even when he's, and and he did not hold back on the creepy either. But for some reason, you're yearning to give him a break on it. Like, oh, just don't overdo it. Just pull back. Just don't. But you know, like you can see the intensity and the way he wouldn't blink sometimes. And you're like, yeah. you're almost cute. But now you're just being weird. But you want, you're kind of rooting for him because he seems really pathetic. Like, especially yeah. when he's talking to his mom and he's, yeah. You know, his dad's kind of like, what are you doing in there? And he just seems so lost. And you're like, oh, poor is okay. And then he just gets less and less sympathetic as the movie goes on. I mean, I mean, it's like you think about how many monologue scenes that he has. Yes. You know, like yeah. in his bedroom with her picture <laughs> projected on the wall. <laughs> and he's drawing the lips on. I love where he's drawing thing. it. <laughs> So I mean, good. he just doesn't let anything back. But you think about how much time we spend with him. Well, yeah. Sonny Deol, who plays Sunil, vowed after this film to never work with <laughs> anyone from Yatraj Studios again. Uh, but he got a lot of screen time, too. They didn't hold me. He had a ton of screen time, I, as, but he, he didn't was, have as much to do, though. As I was watching it, I was like, yeah. But if you think about it, he's constantly the idiot, Okay, yeah, he's this they they set him up as this big macho big hero. Oof. Yeah. Okay. You know, we see our establishing scene for him is that he goes on this big, you know, kind of like the equivalent of a Navy SEAL hostage rescue. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. So we're 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 shown, okay, this guy has got the goods. He's mm -hmm. he's he's a honest <laughs> to God hero, like you know, he's yeah. he could be an extra star the or whatever. Good guy. Right. Strong. But, Except he's an me. except he's a complete asshole. <laughs> okay, and and he also is so overconfident that he's constantly well. Of course, I can just deal with this problem by myself. Yes. We yeah. don't need to bring anybody else outside. We don't need to call the police. No. Over and over, and I was watching this because <laughs> you know, I'm, like I said, I've seen it years ago, so there was certain a lot of details that I had forgotten. I couldn't yeah. remember the overall thing, but I was like, Oh my God, again, like again, of you saying it's okay. Just disconnect your phone. I'll handle it. It's all good. <laughs> so wrong. But, okay, at the, same but time the worst, the worst scene for me though, is okay. when he grab he turns off the lights in the pool and he grabs her underwater. He's constantly trying to scare yeah. her and prank her. Yes. Like, that was... My dude, I want to no. slap you around. And not even funny in any way. To pull no. someone underwater like that. And also, I thought it was a little weird. They had this overhead shot, yet you don't see anyone in the pool, yet suddenly there's something. A little, yeah. a little tricky. But, um, I, yeah, I thought, you know, that's like, kind of, we keep kind of seeing a little bit of that here throughout, like, where he thinks he's being really funny, but it's this really immature. Like, mm -hmm. I almost was more resentful of him yeah. than Shah exactly. Rukh Khan, because Shah Rukh Khan has a reason. He's mentally ill. <laughs> this guy has no reason. Like, he's just right. like, you're just being a jerk. <laughs> Especially right, so considering what she's going through. So that's the thing. It's like I think about how the camera looks at him, how yeah. the camera looks at Shah Rukh. It's you're right. It's not just minutes of screen time. Yeah. It's where is their sympathy? Yes. Even though Shah Rukh is the villain, we develop the camera makes us develop sympathy yeah. for him. It's partly his performance, yeah. but it's also yeah. the way the camera loves him. It does. And then, meanwhile, we have Sunil, like, the script has him being an asshole, has him being yeah. this jerk, has him being this overconfident guy. I mean, literally towards the end when they're in Switzerland and he realizes Shah Rukh as yeah. Rahul has followed them there, yeah. why don't you spend the night? Why don't you have another drink? I'm like, hey, this is awesome. <laughs> Let's hang out. And I love too when all of a sudden he realizes, like, what? It's him? And they have the, the classic flashing of where he's always with them. I'm like, are you seriously just not figuring this out? <laughs> <laughs> he was seriously just figuring it out because they thought they were all good because they thought the yeah. other guy, Vicky, you know, oh, we, yeah. we found this guy dead. He committed suicide. They yeah. had all these pictures. Okay. <laughs> we went to school together. We're old friends. Everything will be fine. But the, why don't you spend the night in our hotel, on our rented house in Switzerland? Because I can just deal with this problem myself. What? <laughs> There was, you know, so many horror films. I consider this technically a horror film. It's more of a thriller. And, and that's another thing, too, I'll talk about. That reminds me of. But 
it counts on people doing really dumb shit. And yeah. so it's either not calling cops, not locking your door, putting down the knife when you think you finished someone off when you have not and walking around like an idiot. Like it counts on this. So there was a little bit of that in here, but I could kind of see the sort of disbelief. This can't be that serious. Like no one's counting on him being psychopathic killer. Like they think he's a nuisance. We can deal with it. He's, he's being creepy, but he hasn't, he's not going to hurt you, but they don't realize, yes, he can't hurt you. But there's that sort of just in a way, not really confronting reality about it. Cause you just don't want to ruin your day. You know, it's like, Oh, we'll be yeah. fine. If we get the cops involved, it becomes a whole thing. We'll be fine. We'll just do this. So you kind of see them trying to fix it on a low key level to kind of keep it low key, but they don't realize they're not dealing with someone who is reasonable <laughs> at all. Right. Well, I mean, it's not like we've never seen a Hollywood movie where we have some sort of macho hero who oh, thinks constantly. he can deal with yeah. everything themselves. Like, but I, there's something, yeah. I, I mean, that's the character flaw for Sunil that yeah. he is just so overconfident that he yeah. thinks well, I'm this Navy SEAL type. Yeah. Like I can, I can deal with anything. Exactly. I can deal with anything. Any threat. And, and, and Mostly. Is, he doesn't yeah. look scary. He doesn't look scary. Right. He looks like he'd be easy to beat up. I mean, he's sort of like, I can handle this. The guy's nothing. Like, I got him. You know, I can deal with it. I can see that overconfidence because, yeah, he's been, he knows how to fight. He's, like you said, he's Navy SEAL, basically. He's like, he's, he's just, he is pure machismo. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And so when he sees this guy, he go, don't even have to worry about this guy. I got this. You know, it's like, you know, <laughs> right. No, you don't. Know. <laughs> don't realize yeah underestimating i i also love sharuk's performance and that he can you can see him pretending to be normal but yet you kind of yeah. know he isn't normal like there's, <laughs> there's so many <laughs> scenes where he is turning on the charm uh, to you know talk to uh, kieran's parents and try to figure yeah. out where the honeymoon is or or what or even all his interactions with sunil of you know, <clears throat> buddy, buddying up to him, and it's like, but you're right. There's like that little, little, it's little twitch. He <laughs> almost like, loses it with that hotel woman. Like, yes. he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I love it, him looking like he's holding back. Like you said, yeah. it's great because you see, he's an actor. He's playing a character. Then he's also a character who's playing a character. So right. He's like he's. So I always think that's really complicated that they can do that. And you in and just, I guess it's just the power of SRK too. You want to be sympathetic with him you yes you're yearning to believe in him but even though you know it's totally wrong and you shouldn't do it you just you should feel bad for him I but know. you should not feel bad for him but it's like it's just a weird <laughs> so confusing because i mean i, I mean, like you said i thought sunny was more annoying than srk and he was like the jerk <laughs> so. i mean so i mean definitely there are hollywood movies that have had similar formula right <clears throat> but i never felt that I never felt that sympathy for the villain that I do yeah. for Shai yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, because we've seen this kind of stalker thing before, yeah. and you never feel, it, it, or if I did, it was extremely rare. And it's, yeah. it's, so that yeah. is something special about Shai Rukh. You're right, because mm -hmm. you just look at his face and you're like, he's a puppy dog. I can't, he's just too <laughs> cute. <laughs> it's, like, it's hard to hate him. I mean, especially 90s Shah Rukh Khan, like, come on. Yeah. He's just and like baby silly cheeks. And oh, I know. <laughs> it's so true. And he has that goofy laugh that's just so silly. And every time he does it, you're like, it's just such a funny thing. He always has had that laugh that makes me laugh. But uh, that's where, you, and you know, like, I hadn't seen, I had already been preconditioned to see him as a romantic lead, which right. I think is, is good to see him that way to then go to this because then you're yeah. already like, and I didn't realize how bad he was going to be. I mean, I knew you said he was a stalker, but good lord, yeah. <laughs> yeah. beyond. Yeah, oh. the spray painting all over oh. the. Oh. <laughs> if I had your skills, oh. I would have made an overlay for our video. Like, I love you, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> it'll be okay, Melanie. You're fine. It'll be fine. And you know, they have some genuinely. So we have this beautiful like romantic sort of comedy ish in the beginning with little yeah. hints of, of eeriness. And they have some really good action sequences. Like mm -hmm. I love when he chases him through the street, through yeah. the festival. That was great. Like really oh, well yeah. shot. And you know, he's going to catch him. I mean, shower can't run, run him, but then of course, you know, in gets hit by a car or whatever happens. Right, right. <laughs> it wasn't yeah. good. And then also I, I just, I love the, um, the confrontation in the forest was also great. Yeah. Cause I did not see that coming. I mean, I thought, Oh, here's beat down. Here we go. 
He's kind of mm-hmm. confronting him. He's figured it out right, finally right. where you get the flashes of like all of a sudden how he just happens to be everywhere they are. Oh, look who's here. I love that realization, him going, what? So he finally confronts him. That was amazing. And then yeah. when he's in the woods and didn't see it coming because he's beating him up. And all of a sudden it's like, boom, get stabbed. Like, boom, yeah. Boom. And I thought that was the end. And I'm still a little like, really? How did he come back from that? Really? Two stabs in the stomach. <laughs> I, I know you're really macho, but seriously. No, I know. He just he just tied a little bandage around his oh, waist. It was, was a little, go. little nice little go. thing. Yeah, we're fine here. I'm going to come over and kick your ass with these two stab wounds to my gut. Yeah. <laughs> but, we'll that. but I but I love, right, so when it gets toward the end, it's, start, it's starting to elevate. It's starting to, like, you know, amp up the, the creepiness, amp up the action and the tension, and you know it's just about to explode. It was feeling so Hitchcock. It was getting so Hitchcock, so Brian De Palma, who basically is also Hitchcock. And I love that le- those last scenes, pure, it just gives me goosebumps, pure De Palma. Like the music, the score was super dramatic orchestra. And yeah. you have all this overwrought, you know, environment where there's like a boat and there's splashing and there's a fight. And there's and just his overwrought acting where he's like, Ugh, you know, yeah. everything. Just I love you. Like every, how many times, it should be a drinking game. How many times he says I love you about? And so it's like, that was so, and that's where I was like, ah, this is such a great Hitchcock film. I loved it. (laughs) Like, that's when it really felt like what it was to me. Like, oh yeah, it was good. (laughs) Love that. It was so excellent. (laughs) It is a classic for a reason. I mean, yes, Chopra is a master filmmaker. I don't know that we've done any of his other films before, but he is like a master, right? Like he is just so great. Mm -hmm. Um, The trailer for this that I sent you is very famous because he let his young son who hadn't done DDLJ yet. I think his son was maybe only 19 or something. And he let him cut the trailer. And the trailer is one of the most iconic um, trailers, you know, uh, Mm -hmm. for Bollywood. But I just, I love, you know, like there's so many layers going on here, right? I mean, Mm -hmm. you have, you're talking about the sexism, you're showing the sexism of how all the men around her discount um, Kieran's plight yeah, and how she is actually like at one point, like she goes crazy from just the constant barrage uh, of, you know, this and, and, and just everyone else has discounted it and yeah. it just takes this toll. Mm-hmm. But at the end, like, I love at the end, you know, she's not completely defenseless. Like she's kind of plucky and dealing with things yeah. on the boat, you know, herself yeah. a little bit. She's doing pretty good. Considering, you know, <laughs> better than I would. I mean, she 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 clues in better than Sunil <laughs> does. Like, you know, like, seriously, took him a long time <laughs> to finally listen to her. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, but I but listening. I I mean, I do love what the the director is showing us because especially we're talking '90s Bollywood. How many? I mean, it doesn't matter. It's still in the 2020s. We're seeing yeah a romantic hero is shown as being a romantic hero who's essentially using stalking behavior to yeah. profess his love to a girl. Mm-hmm. And so we see that over and over again. And he's, he's kind of inverting it for us and show, saying, okay, is this, is this really always good? You know, is yeah. this always really what a hero should be doing? Is this, yeah. and, and um, yeah. And also showing, Hey, if you, if you have a woman in your life, who's showing that they're scared, don't be like Sunil and be yeah. an idiot and assume <laughs> you can just deal with everything yourself because you're so right. macho. Exactly. And also listen, like take it seriously. <laughs> like you may not think the situation seems dire or yeah. dangerous, but just understand the the noise levels that women have of the threat yeah. level and that when they feel it, it goes up to here where maybe you're here because you're not feeling the threat. So it's here. You're like, yeah. oh, nothing's threatening to me. It's like, trust me, it's threatening. <laughs> it's very yeah. threatening. Even if they're cute, like Shah Rukh Khan, it still can be a threat. Yeah. <laughs> That's the lesson learned. <laughs> <laughs> so Ooh. also, uh, this was blew my mind, is that normally we have Bollywood remaking Hollywood films. This one did have a an American song that was central to, to part of the stroll strip tease scene. Like, oh, oh, yeah. But that was, was hilarious. A, that was okay, really this funny. Was, this movie was remade in Hollywood. As called Fear, starring Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> really? Okay. Really? We got to watch that and compare. Who played the stalker? Uh, David McCall and then William Peterson was in it as well. Those names Ugh. don't mean anything to me. Just Reese Witherspoon <laughs> leaped out at me. I'm like, so William Peterson was CSI. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
I don't okay. know who McCall is. I'd have to look at him. Oh, that's I know. hilarious. I Isn't, see... it? Isn't that oh a riot? <laughs> now I want to see that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know oh. if I want to see that because I don't think it could match up. It, it's got to be kind of bad. I mean, I can't see. Oh, Mark Wahlberg? Uh, Mark Wahlberg's in it? Oh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> so who is the soccer in this? I'm not even I'm sure. Not sure. <laughs> I would assume Mark Wahlberg would be kind of the jerk who tries to protect her. Mm. William Peterson might be her dad when we had the dad. Or her brother, funny. maybe. Maybe. Yeah, or know. the brother. Yeah. I mean, maybe Mark no Wahlberg's idea. the brother. I don't know. <laughs> I know. He's they say, in football instead of cricket. Yeah. They say the violence is gory and intense with death stabbing the slice neck. So it looks like something I need to watch. <laughs> Okay, so because Kathy does posters for a living, we always talk about the posters, and the DAR posters are really iconic. You Very know? old school, yeah. I love it. Yeah. It looks hand-done. It looks like illustrated almost. Yeah. I think it is, partly. Maybe illustrated over I love, I love the, the, the DAR like coming up at us, <laughs> the fear coming it's up. It's like almost his iconic pose, but a little bit inverted. Wah. Yeah, before he <laughs> had it, yeah. Exactly. I guess he's <laughs> been yet, doing that a long time. But again, look at look at who is bigger, yeah. whose faces are bigger. Again, yeah. Shah Rukh was not this the big star that he is now. No, so I whose think... faces are bigger? It's exactly. it's it's Jewy and and um, I think in fact this was like her fourth big hit of 1993. Okay. Like she yeah. had several hits that year and Sunny Dio, and yeah. then uh, this one. Now oh, this is probably one just for the. Uh, dvd release or like oh yeah oh you know or like a classic because look <laughs> because who do we see we see one little sunny hat his yeah. three his, srks this one. three srks and and sunny's face is kind of obscured <laughs> and she's kind of looking away from him and she's looking you know right at him like yeah. i love the uh, shot of him hugging her that's so, so creepy <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the, the soundtrack is like iconic. Even really that good. first song is considered like if you have a compilation, greatest hits of Shah Rukh Khan, the first song is one of his. But we never even see him. That's when it's just you know one a, a singer that's notable to many songs for Shah Rukh Khan. But it's just like, of course, he's in the movie. It's a song. You know? <laughs> Gotta have it. Oh, and you were also telling me. Let's talk about the stutter. You said yeah. there's like the stutter thing at the end, which I thought was, first of all, a great choice because it was just an, uh, even if you didn't know what it was, what was, tell me the story behind that. Again. So, so, I mean, that the, the, if you ever see him stutter in a movie, mm -hmm. it is a callback to this. So for instance, okay. I think okay. it was in Patan, there's a certain point where he goes, K -k -k Karen. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh. So that's a call. And so it's just one of those like little, Easter eggs for the audience because everybody it. knows. Everybody knows of him That's famously so K -K -K Karen. K -K -K Karen. <laughs> so obviously her name oh was God. made Karen, so it would sound like that. <laughs> You got to have it. You got to have that. So that, oh, that's awesome. I love that. I love the little iconic little inside jokes. It's pretty cool. Right. And there's really so good. many in Indian cinema. And so like that's part of it is like I'm like you have to see DDLJ because whenever you see a yeah. train scene of somebody grabbing somebody and pulling them on a train, it's from, you know, it's a callback yeah. to that. And anytime you see Shah Rukh Khan uh, stutter is from this. <laughs> I love that. And it, it did kind of remind me of DD. Is it JLLJ? DDLJ. Yeah. DD LJ. When they're when they were having the the scene where she's running through the they had that little thing in the poster where running through the fields and they're spinning and they're this big romantic scene. I'm like, this is just like that. <laughs> He's been doing well, this a while. Yeah. I know because I was just like, oh, it's Yash Chopra. It's Switzerland. <laughs> like <laughs> it, you know. I mean, no. I, my husband was walking through the, and he's like, where is this? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, obviously it's Switzerland. I said, if we ever go to Switzerland, we're going to have to do the Bollywood tour of all the sites. <laughs> Seriously. I know. Exactly. It was very sound of music also. You're right. It's that spinning. and like, ah. <laughs> That's so funny. That was awesome. No, I super enjoy that movie. I think that's a really fun one to tell. And it felt very 60s. It wasn't, yes. but it had that 60s Hitchcock, yes, I very see. lush shot on film, you know, just had that. You just can tell when something's just beautifully, you know, constructed and, and the retro feel of it, even though it wasn't technically retro, it just gave it that extra Hitchcock vibe to me. I think that was yeah. part of it too. I know. But, I love it. It's, yeah. it's something, yeah, it's like they don't, they don't make thrillers like that exactly anymore, right? I mean, it's <laughs> they, just, 
I'm trying to think. What is it? I mean, uh, the the movie they were they had in the movie, um, the take your hat, your you can take your hat off. Uh, what movie was that? Oh, um, I don't know. It was a uh, uh, Mickey Rourke and um. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah and, yeah uh, yeah. But uh, that I loved how they did that, and I'm like, really? Like in the middle of all of this. <laughs> You're gonna, you feel like you're in the mood for that after all this creepy just happening. It's there, like, it's there in the moon. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Come on, you get awesome. Judy in a movie, you gotta you gotta give her a little dance to her. <laughs> Kim Bay Singer, right? Kim Bay Singer. Kim Bay Singer and Mickey I think Murphy. you're right. Yeah. I don't even yeah. remember the title of that movie, but oh I can't believe I can't remember. It is an iconic film also. Yeah, well, Julie Chawa, who um, was the female lead, Karen, she's done several films with Shah Rukh, and she's done iconic films with Amir right. Khan too. So we've more. I love her. Like she just yeah. has kind of has that girl next door quality yeah. about her. Mm -hmm. And um, no, I think she was really good in this. Really so. good. Yeah, she was <laughs> great. Great as the object of desire, and bringing a little more to it than she even hit nine and a half weeks. That nine she had. And a half to, weeks, uh, yes. <laughs> That she she brought a lot to it made made didn't make it feel like she was off putting like too beautiful and icy and right. really felt like she was a real person and that um she had emotions and a depth of character which made you care more that she was being terrorized by this weirdo yeah. right <laughs> I was like oh that was really good I really enjoyed this <laughs> all right thanks Kathy for joining yeah. me and of course we'll have many more Shahrukh Khan kind of movies uh, to come but so let nice. us know in the comments what are your I mean there's so many great ones but what have what is your favorite yes Chopra film the director mm. um what else should Kathy see I mean I have a few in mind but I would love to know what our viewers think is must watch for Kathy right. um that what that she would enjoy That's all right you definitely quest. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need to check out Kathy's channel, Cinemona Podcast. I'm on there almost every week. So, you know, if you want to follow find me. Melanie there, just keep following her. We'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Having a I great mean, time collaborating with her so, Daisy Reviews. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right. Thanks, Kathy. Bye. Bye.